Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I have a amazing flea market haul to share with you. So my daughter Jo and I, two Saturdays ago, decided to go on an adventure and we found a flea market to go to. It was called the Wright County Swappers Meet. I will link it down in the description box for those of you who live in Minnesota. It was about an hour away from me and this was a huge flea market. We spent about three hours going through like all the different booths. So the fun thing about this particular flea market, it was like a combination of a farmer's market because they had like produce and flowers and then it also had, you know, collectibles and vintage items, antiques, that sort of thing. And then they also had booths where people were selling things that they had made themselves. So it was kind of like an arts and craft fair at the same time. So we had a blast. It was ginormous though. It took us three hours to walk through the whole thing and it was just amazing. We had so much fun. <laughs> so I had grand plans to like record a whole bunch of for you guys just to share with you what it was like. Well, <laughs> I kind of got caught up in the moment and ended up not filming very much at all. However, I do have a little snippet of it and it'll probably give you a pretty good idea of what it was like. So go ahead and watch this and then we'll come back and I'll show you the haul. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed my limited footage of the flea market. But anyways, it was an amazing flea market. We will totally want to go back again sometime. They run all the way through October. So I'm sure we'll make it up there one more time at least this year. And I'm very excited about it. So let's get into my haul for today. can't remember the exact prices on most things that I picked up because none of the, nothing has tags on it anymore. They pretty much took all the tags off for me. So I can't remember exactly what I spent, but if I remember the price, I will let you know. Um, I have stuff that I picked up, and then I have a few things that Joe picked up that I think you guys are going to want to see. So I'm going to start with hers stuff, and then I will move on to what I picked up. So Joe collects vintage cameras, and she hit the jackpot. There was a table that was set up. Everything on the table it was $5, and she found three cameras. The first one is this one right here comes in this great leather case. It says Ricolette on it, I think. I don't know. Anyways, it looks like this. You see that? 
Isn't that cool? It does come out of the case, but it is attached right now. So I'm not going to bother to take it out of the case. But it is a very cool looking camera. And she's very happy to find that for her collection. She has a bigger camera collection than I do at this point. <laughs> um, so I always find other things to spend my money on. So, All right. So then the next one she picked up was a Polaroid. This is a Polaroid 330. It comes like built into this plastic case. Looks like this. And then it opens up and looks like this. And then it does like come out of the case a little bit. Um, she had it out the other day and I can't remember how she did it. So I'm not going to do that. But this one was $5 as well. So that was pretty cool. And then she also found another Polaroid camera. It comes in kind of the same looking kind of case. This is a 215. Ooh, whoa, this one's got the cases not on it. Okay, so it looks like this. And then it has the case that comes off. Looks like this. Pretty cool. Um, this one also comes out. I don't know how she get them out. But anyways, it's pretty cool. I have never seen one like this myself. So I thought that was pretty neat. So yeah, she found three cameras for $5 each. And she was pretty excited about that. <laughs> so Joe was pretty excited about those <laughs> cameras, which are pretty awesome. And I probably I love it that she collects them because sometimes I borrow her cameras when I'm using them for decor, which is very nice of her to allow me to use those. So now we can move on to what I found. And I'm not sure even what to start with. Let's go ahead. I found this little tin. Let's look at that first. Isn't it cute? It's red and white, so it'll go on my red and white cubbies, and I love it so much. It's called Royal Baking Powder, and I thought it was really cute. The back has got like this yellow to it, so I just thought that was super cute. I'm always on the lookout for red and white things to put on my red and white cubbies here in my kitchen, so this will be a great addition to that. Um, the next thing I found was some vintage pins. Um, like the Pell pins. Um, I'm always on the lookout for them and I hit the mother load because there was like this whole bo booth was just filled with like costume jewelry and stuff and most of the boxes she was only asking like 50 cents for you know a single item out of each so I found this one right here for 50 cents. It's a cute little gold wreath with a little bell in the middle. I think my mom has one very similar to this, so it reminded me of her, so I thought that was a nice little one to add to my vintage pin collection. And then I also collect rhinestone pins, and I found this one, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. I love this one so much. So I this one was 50 cents as well, and I will add that to my rhinestone collection. And I love it so much. I think it's so cool. I need to figure out a way to like display my collection because I've got a lot of like rhinestone pins. So I keep thinking I'm going to like put them on pillows or something like that. I should work on that. Make a pretty pillow and have that as like the center part of it. So anyways, that's my plan. I don't know if it'll ever happen. But anyways. All right. So then the next item I found another red and red item for my cubbies. And this is a very old looking box right here. It's got like this cool metal on the edges and it's some sort of machine part or something like that. It says Herskull um, Manufacturing Company from Peoria, Illinois. And I just thought I love the color of it. I love the gold lettering on it. And I'm totally into like old packaging. So I thought this was super cool. The next thing I found was a pair of vintage scissors. Always on the lookout for scissors, but I haven't found any in a really long time. And these are really cool. I like the shape of them. They look like this. And don't you just love the blue on the handle? I think that is so cool. I like this little accent over here. I think that's pretty neat. And then the shape of them is really cool. So I'm going to add this to my collection. I need to clean it up a little bit. It's a little rusty. Maybe sharpen the blade a little bit. And then I'll put this down in my craft area because all of my scissors are vintage scissors and I just love them. I love the weight of them. They just seem to cut so much nicer than scissors 
nowadays. So I don't know. I think it, plus it's fun. It's fun to use vintage scissors. So super excited to find these. I think I paid like $3 for these, which I thought was a score. So that was awesome. And I don't have any blue handled ones. All the ones I have are just like stainless steel ones or they have like the black handles. So very excited about that vibe. So the next thing I found was something for my brother. He collects ham beer um, things. And so I found some paper placemats. These were a dollar each. And I picked up, how many did I pick up? Six of them. And it looks like this. It's just like the little paper tray liners, basically. And I thought, I don't know if he'll use them or not, but I thought I would pick them up because I had never seen them before. And I think they were really cute. So I hope he likes them. <laughs> All right, so this next item, <laughs> I kind of have a little bit of buyer's remorse um, because I paid $15 for it. I think I overpaid a whole bunch on it, but I don't know for sure. But I saw it and there was a whole bunch of them and I saw this one. And I thought it was so cool. It is a page from an old calendar, an old pinup calendar from 1947, April 1947 to be exact. And it looks like this. Isn't that cool? I just love it so much. I'm going to definitely put it in a different frame. It's just in a cheapo frame right now. But I think it is so cool. I love the 40s to begin with. And then, since this is 1947, I thought that was kind of cool. So... Yeah, I know I'm kind of, I think I'm kind of weird for liking this, but I like it. <laughs> so I'm going to hang that up down in my craft area, I think. I just think it's cool. I don't know. I'm kind of weird. I understand. All right, so this next item, I was so fun. I, I found it and I just had to get it. It's kind of silly, but we went to this one booth and it had a lot of like vintage desk wear, I guess you'd call it. Things that you'd put on like a desk, like calendars and... Um, letter openers and that sort of thing and a lot of time a lot of the stuff was like you know like advertising kind of ones which I thought was so cool so I found this little guy right here it's a little calendar stand and it is so adorable look at that it's an advertisement on the top for birch truck services of Denver Minnesota and then on the bottom of it it's got a calendar and you can see you can flip through the calendar all the different months and it's from 1965 yes 1965 and then of course it's got this little handy dandy holder so you can prop it up on the desk and then on the back side it's got a little mirror <laughs> I don't know why I fell in love with this, but I did, and I love it so much. I think it is so cool. I already have, I bought like, the last time I went to the Hopped Market um, that they have over in Apple Valley, I think, I found just this little page calendar, and I have it up on my little cubbies. So then when I saw this, I was just like smitten by it completely, so I had to get it. I think it is so cool. And I actually, there was like three or four of these, so I had to, I you know, to choose one. And this is the one I chose. I thought it was cool. One of them did have a broken mirror, so I didn't want to buy that one so much. But yeah, this one was pretty cool. And you know, it's got a teeny tiny pop of red in it. So that's pretty cool. But I just love this old advertisement stuff. I think it is so cool. And the fact that it's sort of handy at the same time. <laughs> so that is so fun. So then I found another tin. This is a Christmas tin. So of course I'll probably use it around Christmas time. But it has got this gorgeous poinsettia on it and a little wreath around the outside. And I just thought it was really, really pretty. Um, back looks a little beat up. It doesn't have any markings on it, so I have no idea what it was originally for. But I thought it was pretty cool. So I was very excited to find that one. So this next item is something that starts off a new collection for me. I want to redo my family room with like vintage Wisconsin kind of like touristy things, if that makes sense. <laughs> and I have been looking on Etsy for these little pillow covers from like, I don't know how old they are. Like, I'm gonna say like 1940s, 1950s. It looks like this. Do you know what I'm talking about? There's a little fray things. So I found one for Wisconsin Dells. Isn't this so cool? 
It's a little hard to share it with you, but I think it is so cool. And I love the fact that it is actually Wisconsin Dells because my husband used to spend a lot of time in Wisconsin Dells when he was a young, young man with his family. So, you know, it's got all the great touristy spots um, from Wisconsin Dells. So I was super excited to find this. It's not in great condition. It looks like it had been folded up on itself a lot. So the black has kind of bled onto the white and stuff like that. But I don't care. It was, I can't remember how much it was, but it was under, I think it was like $5 or something like that. So for $5 for my first piece, because I've been looking and looking and looking, I thought this was totally worth <laughs> the amount. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to put it in. I'm going to get it washed up and then I will see if I'm going to just hang it on the wall or if I'll actually put it on a pillowcase. I'll probably end up hanging it on the wall because I don't want the babies to like chew on it and stuff. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. And now I have a new collection started, which is always awesome. So I have two more things to share with you and I am super excited about them. Um, you may remember on one of my thrift store Thursdays not too long ago, I found a vintage oil lamp and I told you it was the beginning of a wonderful new collection for myself. So when I was at this um, flea market, I was looking for oil lamps and I found one and I was so excited about it. This is a clear glass version. I paid $7 for it and it looks like this. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. Let's see if I can give you a closer view here. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it so much. Of course, it didn't come with the globe on it, but that's all right. I can find a globe to go on it. And I was so thrilled about finding this. I actually found it towards the end, like in the last half hour that we were shopping and I had been looking the all day for one. So I was so excited. This booth that I got this at, it was kind of one of those booths where the guy was kind of real low key <laughs> and things were just piled up. So I had to do a lot of digging. I moved something and then I spotted it and I'm just like, oh, I was so excited. So I love this guy. So after I found this oil lamp, it was getting towards the end of the day. We were on our very last aisle, like halfway through. And I was just carrying this by itself because by this time my bag was full and my purse was full of stuff and I couldn't fit anything more in. And the guy didn't give me a bag. So I was just carrying it around like this, trying to shop. And I stopped at a booth that like a box of salt and pepper shakers drew me in. So I stopped there and I was looking around a little bit. And the lady that ran the booth was such a sweetheart. She came up to me and she says, would you like a bag for that lamp? And I'm like, oh, yes, I would. Thank you so much. So she was kind enough to put my lamp in a bag for me. And she even wrapped it up in paper for me. And then she brought it back to me and she's like, you know, <laughs> I have an oil lamp too. And I'm like, you do? And she's like, yes. I'm like, well, I think you're going to have to show it to me. <laughs> So she walked me over to a table off, way off in the back, like I hadn't even got to it yet. And she came up with this little guy right here. And can you believe it? She goes, she picks it up, turns around to me, and she's like, and it's on my dollar table. <laughs> what? Dollar for this little guy right here. This one doesn't have the wick, but that's all right. I can get a wick for it. And I just love it so much. It's looking like it might need a little bit of sprucing up, obviously. I need to fix it a little bit. But for a dollar, I can totally deal with it not being in perfection, perfect condition. There's no chips or cracks. The inside is really dirty. But I think I can get that cleaned out. And I am just thrilled. So it looks like this. This one's just very plain. And then does have a little bit of fluting or a little detail along the bottom here. So now I have two more with a total of three oil lamps in a matter of a couple weeks. I couldn't be more happy. I was so, so thrilled to find both of these. So I am excited to get these washed up, cleaned up, 
and into my decor. <laughs> All right, so that is what I picked up at the flea market. So if you're here in Minnesota, check out the description box so you can go check out how far away you are from this flea market. It is well worth a little bit of travel time to get there, and it is a great place to go do a little vintage shopping. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love to know down in the comments which of these items you would have picked up yourself if you went to the flea market with me, or let me know what you are looking for when you go to flea markets. One of those two things. All right, thanks for watching. I will see you guys again very soon in my next video. Bye now.